Hey Linux fans, Chase here, and today I have a review of OpenRA, a open source recreation of the classic game Command and Conquer. My dad, he used to always play that, and I would look up to him and be like, "Hey, how do you play this? You know, what is this?" And right now, I've got a basically modern version of it. Uh, like I said, it's a real-time strategy game, and um, it's it's a very flexible engine. The uh, engine itself is made by OpenRA. Um, it's not really restricted by any of the technical um, limitations of the original closed source game and it's fully supported by Linux and, and runs on Windows and Mac too. Um, it's 100% free and comes with three distinct mods. So let's go ahead and jump into the game. It's a very, very fun game, easy to get into. Um, it's not a game that you have to to really um, practice at to have a lot of fun. It's um, it's very simple and it's like I said, it's easy to get into and just a lot of fun overall. Um, it's it's got two modes: single player and multiplayer. We're going to be doing single player today, um, just because multiplayer can get uh, pretty confusing at first, but. Um, so yeah, go ahead and click uh, single player and then to skirmish. Once you're in skirmish, you'll have a page like this. So I'm going to change my name to Razor Orb instead of Newbie. Um, yeah, you'll get a color, a faction, team spawn, and if you're ready or not. So you don't really have to care about the team or the spawn, but you want to you wanna make sure that you have a good color that you know is your guy. So I'm going to just pick a blue. And you have five factions. You have England, France, Germany, Russia, and Ukraine. So for this, I'm going to be France. And let's go ahead and make our enemies Ukraine or something. Alright, so you also have many different types of maps. You've got the Great Sahara. You've got, I mean, just look at all these. Tons and tons of maps. Um, some were already here and some were made by different players. We're going to go ahead and use Great Sahara. Um, it... Great Sahara is a great map to start on, uh, especially because it's not got any water in it. You can play on land or at sea. So, so you're going to come into here. The first thing that you need to know is it's just simple left and right click and drag and those types of uh, rules. So, first thing is you're going to need to uh, left click on your little mobile construction vehicle and just right click again. And then you get a menu over here. Uh, the first thing you have to build is a power plant. Uh, the good thing about this game is it kind of shows you how to play within itself. You don't need any tutorials or anything like that. Construction complete. So this kind of built pretty quick. Uh, the next thing you'll need is an ore refinery. And the reason why is because if you don't have any money coming in, then you'll not be able to build anything. And that, that kind of shows where the strategy starts, even from the beginning. If you spend all your money on, let's say, barracks or a naval yard, you won't have any money to support building troops and really the main focus of the game is um, having having as minimal amount of buildings and things to take care of but having a strong military and a good source of weapons coming in or, or a good so source of money should I say so some of these take a pretty long time the ore refinery uh, you just get this set it down uh, it'll go. The truck itself will go find Building. whatever it needs, uh, well, ore basically. You can see him coming down here trying to find the ore, and this is what the ore looks like. It'll take him a few seconds to get this. He'll come back, and it'll give you five hundred, um, five hundred dollars basically. Um, but what I like to do is build the war factory next, and this is because you can start building heavy artillery and you can buy more of these ore trucks, which means more money coming in every minute. Um, other than that, I mean, you can build a barracks, but um, you don't really need any um, weapons at the moment. You just need to build up some sources and resources real quick, because in the, fu in the uh, future during your game, you're gonna have multiple attacks coming at you, you're gonna have multiple attacks uh, that you're taking. So let's see, now that we got this war factory ready, 
Um, so these you can, you click down here on vehicles, and you can see I've got a, a good selection of vehicles. You open up more the more you build, basically. So we need another ore truck. Um, and a good thing about these is if you left click, or yeah, left click on them, you can change where you want them to go. So I want, let's say I want them to come right here and my soldiers to come over here, or something like that. Uh, the reason why you would do this is because you don't want everything to be all jumbled up and crazy. But as you can tell, you know, everything right now is, is pretty slim and coming out good. So this guy just came out. And in order for him to go to the ore, you have to click on him and tell him to go to the ore. And he will start getting the ore too. So let's see, I've got the barracks ready. I'm going to put my barracks right Cannot here. Deploy. Construction there, options. and I'm going to make their spawn over here. Now you've got soldiers the same way that you have the vehicles. So the rifle infantry, the rocket soldier, medic, engineer. You don't really need the medic or engineer. I would just get a few rifle infantry and rocket soldiers. Um, again, you want to you wanna make sure that you've got a good source of money. And power. If you run out of power, you won't be able to um, you won't be able to really build anything else. So yeah, this is basically how you start up the game and uh, get everything going. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.